Hey guys. So, I'm a big fan of muesli, right? And, <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I don't know what I was, I was tripping, but I like use this and I was like, I give myself a mark. But anyways, I want to talk about muesli and I just got this new melasma spot peel. We're going to do it together. Hold on. The spot peel is a one day treatment to help boost. Treat your melasma. Please stop any muesli products three days ahead. Put some Vaseline in the cracks of your mouth. Make it too dry. And then it says, <coughs> the sides of your nose. And once the skin is washed and dried, apply a thin layer. Leave the first layer on for an hour. Then leave the second layer on for eight to 10 hours. <coughs> it's only one use application. It cost me $60. But I want to talk about, also I had a sale on my um, site. And I sold, so we're just going to do this together. I sold, and I think, I think it's enough for two. I sold, so we're just going to put it on. looks like this. I sold a Chanel 19 pouch. I sold a Gucci belt. I'm just gonna put this on where my melasma's bad. I sold, um, what else I sell? Um, my Hermes belt, my Collier de Chien, de Chien belt. And um, what else did I sell? Um, That's it. And then I had a flash sale of my products. <clears throat> I should have never did that derma cleaning right there, but I um, sold a bunch of my products for like 50% off, even higher because um, I'm getting like a treatment, the plastic surgeon. And I'll share more next video all about well, I'm gonna vlog the process. So I'm scared to put it right where I dermaplaned, but like I am into all that stuff. I'll put in some clips right here of when I talk about the banana roll and how you shouldn't mess with it. Okay, right here, I'm gonna stand to the side. It sags right here. So what they did is they did like over here and here, but it made it like sag a little my butt. So, cause it does make your butt, sh butt sag. <clears throat> and they warned me about it. They're like, you know, we don't like to treat it, but I was like, it makes me look like a double butt. Please do something. And um, now I kind of regret it. But, so this is just, Oof. Supposed to leave this on for one hour. See, I'm scared to go over the red patch. And, um, yeah. So, I've tried to consult um, the doctor about, like, my alopecia. But they said, like, one time I went for a consult. And when they looked at the back hair under this, like, electron microscope, it's like a really high powered microscope. They said, those hairs are programmed to fall out. So it would be like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You can't use that as donor hair, it won't work. And I was like, well, why can't I just use like someone else's? And they said, because your body will reject it. Then I was like, why can't I just use my coochie hair? <laughs> no, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this where my melasma is, which is right here. And then um, if it doesn't burn after an hour, we will come back and do the second coat and leave that on for eight hours. But I should have done it right now because here it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I'll take it off at midnight, but I'll be back. Another thing, I wanna show you some things I got. I got these really cute Fendi glasses. They look really cute. And then I got well, this is my night cream. Oh. 
This is my night cream from Muesli. Which works really good. It's just basically Retin-8, but it's a different formula. It's good to switch up the different formulas from different brands because you get better effects. Your body doesn't get as used to it. But, um, yeah, you'll, you guys are going to have to watch my next videos to see the vlog about the treatment. I mean, I'm 44, and I'm, I am into plastic surgery. Like, I've had <coughs> tummy tuck, 360 lipo, lipo again, breast lift, breast aug, Botox, Restylane. I'm into all that stuff. And I look at it like this. You only live once, choose happy. Whatever that means to you, choose happy. And, um, yeah, I'm... I'm happy with um, all the work that I've had done. Otherwise, see, see, I have eight children, and what used to happen was people used to be like, my stomach was permanently distended. People used to ask me if I was pregnant. And I'd be like, no, because my stomach wouldn't go back in at that point. And then after I had the last tummy tuck, two years later, I got pregnant again. Kind of ruined it. But, my husband's getting a vasectomy within the next couple months. He's already made the first step, made the appointment, made the consult. I'm actually nervous for him. He said that's my ultimate act of control. It's really not, but I want to be able to travel and do fun stuff with him, you know? But another thing I want to share with you guys, hold on. It's right here. This topics. Now, this looks really good. I recommend everybody get this. I lost the top. You see how, like, there's hardly any hairs right here? Watch. Now look, see what a difference that makes? It makes such a difference. Look, it's like hair building fibers. Love it. So, so yeah, what else can I show you guys? Oh, I did get a new mascara, Dior Show, which kind of does suck. Okay, we're gonna come back and then we're gonna do the second layer after an hour and I'm going to tell you if it burns. Okay guys, so it actually doesn't burn at all. Like my, my skin is really acclimated because I do so much treatments and stuff. But we're going to go in with our second coat. Now, they say this is only enough for one, but oh, oh, it does burn right there where I cut myself a little bit. I'm not going to put it there. Um, but I did have some major brown spots on my forehead. But Muesli works wonders. I can't say enough good things about Muesli. I really can't. Um, it sucks as women we have to deal with melasma. But... Um, I'm so glad I actually made the call. My husband told me sent me the link you saw commercial and I had tried so many things from the dermatologist but it's like my face became immune to it and usually they they break it up into a different carrier molecule that active ingredients so it's actually able to penetrate I don't know how I'm not gonna go where I cut myself so I'm gonna leave that part blank but I don't think I have any actually let me get it right here too I can't take this off until tonight. So, and then it's supposed to peel over the next few days. But yeah, update on my son. He's doing so much better. The first shot, you know, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia and we were trying to figure out what was wrong, what was wrong. He was self-medicating with drugs, but it was actually something lurking in the background, so. Now he's on this once every two months shot, and it's so good. First he was on one, which wasn't good. He had like a reaction, but this one's better. What is it called? It's called um, Abilify. Yeah, it works so good. You know? It seems better for everybody because it's really a disease where you have a disorganized thought process and like all this noise in your head and now he's able to like 
be the person that we know and love, you know? So I'm really happy. All right, guys. I will be back tonight. Okay, guys. So I, I did mess my face up with the dermaplane. I, like, went too deep. But I left the peel on. Woke up at midnight, set an alarm. Wash it off. And it's kind of, like, red. And um, so this is me without makeup. And they said to put a lot of moisturizer on. So, ooh. It doesn't really burn, but they say don't put makeup on for a few days and it'll start to peel. Now, if it doesn't peel, that means that it wasn't strong enough for me and I most likely just need like a TCA peel. So I'm really trying to soften my syringoma bumps and my melasma, you know? All right, but I do want to show you, I got, hold on. I got my tray in from Hermes. And it is the um, the sushi tray. It looks like this. And I waited so long for it. I love it. So I'm going to put this on my vanity. And I also got this Farsali liquid glass. It's supposed to, like, make your skin look really pretty under makeup. I'm not supposed to wear makeup right now. Um, if I can put it on my hand. This compared to the Glossier, I wonder what the difference is. Put a little bit of each on each side. They're probably like the same thing. I think this was a lot more expensive. But I, like I said, I got it off Mercari. I like buying expensive things on Mercari because you can get like a 30% off discount. I don't know how they get the products. Like I said earlier, I don't know if they steal them or what. Don't mind my nails, you guys. I've been working in the garage. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my new products right now. I'm super excited. So the muesli products I use are the night cream, the spot treatment, which has done really good for my melasma. And then under the eyes, I use this Chanel Sublimage. It smells kind of like vanilla. I guess it comes from some vanilla recipe from Madagascar. Um, I don't really like the smell of vanilla, so it's not my favorite. I did also buy this Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I don't really like. Sometimes it's good to just use good old Vaseline. But yeah, so I'm gonna try this liquid serum underneath my makeup when I get a chance. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so these are the socks. I ordered mostly these. I designed these and went back and forth and it's funny because the first pictures of how they wanted to do the tie-dye, I was like, no, that's all wrong. So, um, and then I also have plain white. And so we're gonna open these up and try them on. I'm excited. So they're gonna be sold like this. And then there's this little sleeve. So let me uh, try one on. And we can see how it looks. Yes, I love it. Perfect for those days when you're like in the house and yeah. Look you, look you. Okay guys. So, the shedding that was supposed to happen, it never did. You still see the little cut I gave myself. Because it was my first time ever trying to, like, dermaplane. And I was apparently doing too much. But, um, I guess I'm going to end the, the vlog here. This is me with nothing on my skin except a little sunblock. Um, I do have a little bit of the Chanel under eye. Because they say you're just supposed to moisturize. But this is day two after the peel. No peeling. The email says it should begin to peel. 
after day five, but I just don't see it happening. Um, but I do have a project I want to do. I want to take this whole area right here where my vanity is. And I want to take all the jewelry out of that mirrored case and I want to put it in the drawers. Hold on, it's dark. There. I want to put it in the drawers. So we will do that together. I don't think of an appeal because usually in the past when I've done stronger TCA peels, I can already feel where the skin is going to peel up and it hasn't, you know? So um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. And um, what else? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.